Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lucy with The Not So Typical Teacher, and I'm here today to bring you a video about some ways, money saving tips, tricks, some hacks for you to be able to save money in your everyday life. So this is a little bit different than my regular teaching videos, but I wanted to bring you something different that I follow, not just as a teacher, but just as a general person that anyone could follow. So I have some money saving tips and tricks. I'm gonna actually show you how to do some of these today. So hopefully you can take at least one of these with you and start doing it today in your life. So my first one is some container reusal. So this might be really simple, you might already be doing this, but some tips and tricks, something that maybe you haven't thought of yet that you could start doing. So when I say container reusal, what does that mean? Well, for me specifically, that means Whenever I go out somewhere and maybe get an extra container that I know I could use in a different way, I'll come home and repurpose it. So, for example, fast food places actually now, some of them do give you some good quality containers depending on what you order. So let's say here, I have this container, I think I got it from Sonic and ordered chicken in it before. So after I was done eating my meal that I brought home, I would wash this. It was actually did pretty well in the dishwasher, so I'd wash this container comes with the lid and the container, and I can reuse it again for meal prepping or anything else that I want food related. So that's one way to reuse a simple container that you might be able to get just in your everyday life. Another one is actually kind of a two for one uh, repurpose, and this is a holiday cookie container that I've gotten before in the past, or I think it had cookies in it. Sometimes you get these big ones for popcorn and things like that as well. So those would be really great to reuse in other ways. So right now for me, notice I don't have the lid on it. And this goes in my pantry. And what I do with this one actually will lead me into my next tip. So my next tip for reusal and repurpose is to actually reuse your tortilla or your bread bags. So if you're having the same thing for lunch every day, let's say it's pretty basic, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you could actually reuse these bags. And instead of putting that in a Ziploc bag and buying Ziploc bags, you can use these instead. So notice this one doesn't seal, this bread bag, so you can just need to fold it over and then put it in your lunch pail. But tortilla ones, a lot of the time, they do have a little zipper. And so, Whenever I want to open it, I would just unzip it, just like a regular Ziploc bag. But this time, I was already buying the tortilla or the bread, so now I can reuse the bag and I don't have to pay for it to, to use it. So, I love that one. Also, another one that has to do with repurposing bags. So, I have a few bags here, and I remember where I got most of them from. So, these holiday bags, or just gift bags in general, are great to reuse and repurpose. So this one, for example, I got from a boutique when I went shopping. Cute little boutique store, that's so close. This is just a bag and it, my clothes came in when I got home. So great to reuse, it's floral, it's pretty. You can reuse it for a birthday or something like that. It's a really fun one. And I didn't have to pay anything extra for it since I got it when I purchased the clothing item. This one was a free gift from a school event that I had. So they were giving out these trinkets and things inside the bag. So all I did is I put the trinkets away that I got or used them. And then I now have a bag to reuse again. And this one I believe I got for a birthday or Valentine's Day as a gift to me. And so now I can reuse them again. Another way though that you could reuse these bags is actually during the holiday season. So if you're not embarrassed to say this, and I am not, uh, during the holiday season, what I like to do if anyone has any extra gift bags, and I know they're just going to throw them away, or even gift bows or anything like that, I'll ask, I'll say, hey, can I take it instead? And then I can reuse it and repurpose it in different ways. So I really like to do that as well. Another one that I really like to do is perfume. So have perfume here, but I don't have the spray nozzle that came with it. I don't remember if it didn't come with it or maybe I lost it somewhere along the way, but this is a really large perfume bottle and this would be a lot to pour out at once. So what I like to do instead is if I have a glass bottle like this, I like to take just a tiny little kind of travel size sample size, which is really good for traveling too and pour it in here. So notice I'm almost out, I use this a lot. So I just unscrew the lid and I just pour that bigger bottle 
in here, and this one actually comes with a spray, so I can spray it out each time I want to use it. The next one is more of a food related one, and this one is something you can do at home that you probably think I have never thought to do, because I haven't thought to do it for years. For years I was buying veggie, chicken, or beef broth. Now this works really well for vegetable broth. You could probably also do this with chicken bones and things like that, but I do it mostly for vegetable broth. So what I do when I cut up my veggies for another recipe, I'll save the vegetable scraps and I'll put them in a nice container. So some sturdy container that I have that I can put in my freezer. So then I will freeze those veggie scraps and what I can do later is pull those out and actually homemade my own veggie broth and that helps for when I'm making things like soups. So now I don't have to buy veggie broth, I can actually just go and pull my vegetables out of the freezer and make my veggie broth, which I'm gonna do today. So that's a tip I really like to save money and something I didn't have to do to purchase something extra. So again, all of these things, for the most part, are things you can reuse so that way you don't have to go out and purchase an additional item or an additional thing. So another one, hopefully it'll apply to a lot of us, is family members giveaways. So what does that mean, family members giveaways? Well, in my family, I grew up with all women growing up, living in my household, and my grandmother as well. And so a lot of things I was able to get growing up because they didn't want anymore. So for example, when my sister just didn't decide she doesn't like this scent anymore or she wanted to try something new, she ended up getting me one of her older perfumes and I really liked the scent. I thought it smelled really good, so I kept it and I still have it today. Or clothes, for example, a lot of the times people will get tired of their clothes, especially in my family, and so they will always ask me before they get rid of them because they'll know that I will take them. So even if you don't think you're gonna wear something today, if you think in the future that you could possibly wear it, I would recommend taking it because I've been able to wear a lot of different outfits just from taking what they didn't want anymore. So really helpful tip there if you're willing to ask, hey, if you don't want that before you go and give it away or whatever, unless they're gonna sell it and make money, and before you go and give it away, can I take a look and see if I'd be interested in any of these items? That also works too with things like if a family member is moving, you could see if they're moving and ask them for things. Like if they're not going to sell them, then they were just going to donate them anyway. Or if they know that you're moving somewhere else, you could go and see if they have anything extra. A lot of the times, people have duplicates of things. So another one that I have is actually a repurposed box lid for dog toys. So keep some dog toys in here every day for my dog. He has quite a few, so I try to rotate them out, and I have a drawer in my home that I put the rest of them in. But these are just kind of the holiday ones and some of his favorites. So it's just a reused box lid. So this is working for us right now. I haven't really found anything that I would like to store his to toys in. So this works really well. And the thing about it that's nice is it's not too tall. He's a little dog. He's probably about 20 pounds. And so he can easily just grab what he wants out of this because I just put it in a nice spot in the ground for us where it sits all the time. So the last tip I have for you today is to create a grocery budget for you and your family of items that you need and a budget that you know you can stick to. So it has to be a realistic budget for you of things that you need to buy. So I express that word need because a lot of the times we get confused with want and need, but we need to focus in on things that we need more than just what we want. So I would highly recommend sitting down, taking a look, and planning out some items that you can budget within your grocery. That is the number one tip I have for you because that really started this whole thing. So it's helped my husband and I move from an apartment to a house and then do it again and move from a different house, sell that house to another house. So it's my best tip for you today because if you can kind of narrow down your grocery budget, you will realize that you're spending a lot of money in that one place and you could probably be saving so much more. So I hope one of these tips at least helped you today. If you have any more, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new ways to save a little bit more money. Who isn't, right? Also, if any of these tips helped you today, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. 
and then like the channel, make sure to share it with your friends.